My name is uh, Webi Mshenga Kumchanelo. I'm a PhD student studying agriculture like extension at the University of Zambia. Um, my experiences working here at Panunka Farm taught me a great deal of the differentiation between pract uh, practical and theoretical um, points of views we do uh, on campus about agriculture. Um, amongst these, I can bring out was uh, the way is it um, when we learn things theoretically, we usually focus on small scale compared to large scale. When working here, I learned that as you move production to larger scale, there is more work intensity and there is more, there is need more into focusing on how production works. Uh, here, I would like to give examples of, um, uh, theoretically, we learned that green paper should be, well, we have the, basic, the basics of green paper, we just grow, grow green paper and let it grow. But here at Panuka, we learned that there are things like the three stem system, two stem systems, which bring out for example, the stems. For example, in this greenhouse here, we learned that um, for you to have better produce, as it a better size in the fruit of your green paper, we use the free stem system. That way, the size of um, of the green paper is at least uh, average, compared to the two stem system, which was practiced in the other greenhouses, which gave us larger fruits. Then we, went, then we went into things like um, the production of uh, uh, cucumbers. Cucumbers, uh, uh, we, we learned how to terrace cucumbers. We learned how to trim. Because as cucumbers grow, for us to is it, uh, maximize our fruit, we literally have to keep on trimming it as it grows among, uh, among us uh, the, the way it's been terraced. We also learned the use of um, the high net of uh, the greenhouse spreading in cucumbers, whereby cucumbers, once they grow, they spread all over the top net and uh, have their fruits lying dormant, uh, straight flat. We also learned about uh, crop rotation, which, uh, which is very really practiced a lot here at Panoka, where um, green pepper and cucumbers are usually rotated with lettuce, as you seen here. So once green pepper is grown, the next thing grows lettuce before we bring in cucumbers, and vice versa. So the, the crop rotation practiced here ensures that there is nutritional balance amongst all the plants and crops which are grown here at Panoka, fair in the greenhouses, which give us the highest yield of production in, in the... The prime destination I, ha I had uh, Panoka was uh, the Porto, where I learned how to keep layer, layer chickens. These are the golden brown breed, as can be seen by... Well, as can be seen by their brown, by their golden brown feathers. Um, through our experiences, we learned uh, diseases which affect the chickens and um, how the chickens themselves really affect their own egg production. I found that most chickens, usually, if not de by the first three weeks, um, they tend to have uh, a ca ca carnivorous state in which they attack their fellow chickens. We also learned on how. We also learned on how different. I'm going to how the, how, how the chicken is kept. Different chickens produce different sizes of eggs due to the different contact they, they take in and uh, even the color. The brown the brown of the egg is the healthier the chicken which laid it was. The light egg is means there's a deficiency or something making the eggshell weaker. My experience with Panuka, I, I can't believe I'm talking about the major asset which makes everything work, which is basically the, um, is it, uh, what they get, the power farm, which is all solar. The whole farm runs on, runs on solar, from the water system, farm system, to the irrigation system, all runs on solar, which also runs the cold room, which keeps, which keeps our, our fruits, hence uh, making the farm self-sufficient and literally uh, not dependable on other assets.